And politics is our family business, as you know. Pat Miles is a Grand Rapids Democrat. Yeah, they do exist. He's a business lawyer. He serves on the DeVos Children's Hospital Foundation board, active with Spectrum Health Hospitals and the Hope Network. And uh, he joined the Grand Rapids Bar in 2002, went to Harvard Law, and is candidate for Congress in the 3rd Congressional District, the so-called Gerald Ford seat. Vern Ehlers retiring after nearly two decades, and now it's an open seat, so he's running against Republican Justin Amash. Good morning, Mr. Miles. Good to talk to you again. Good to talk to you. Good morning. I understand you have a debate coming up uh, pretty soon. It's going to be uh, 6 p.m. October 20th in the Robert Snedden Center. Um, do you, uh, are you preparing, and how so? What are, the, what are going to be your key points? Well... I've been participating in a number of debates over the last uh, two or three several weeks. Uh, we had just four uh, last week alone. Uh, my opponent uh, wasn't that uh, wasn't that though, so I feel very well prepared. Our key points are going to be jobs, uh, focusing on uh, Michigan jobs, uh, in particular manufacturing in the sector. Uh, pointing out uh, that I've been a small business lawyer, as you noted, uh, for the past 19 years here in Grand Rapids, working with a lot of. Uh, businesses, uh, startup businesses, and, and entrepreneurs, and uh, focusing on things that uh, they need in terms of access to capital, lower taxes, a payroll tax holiday, accelerating depreciation on the purchases of American-made equipment and machinery, fair and reciprocal trade agreements, uh, research and development tax credits. These are things that I've been talking about throughout the campaign. Uh, so we're really going to be focusing on, on jobs uh, because uh, people are hurting. Uh, good workers are losing their jobs or are worried about losing their job and or can't find work and we got to get our get our people working again did you say that uh, your opponent has not been at the debates he, we had a debate uh, in an environmental issues debate last week we had a uh, Kentwood uh, Wyoming Chamber of Commerce debate we had a, uh, a debate that was sponsored by the Barry County Chamber of Commerce and the Kiwanis mm -hmm. uh, we, we had a Kendall College Fair State University debate uh, he wasn't at any of those, uh, but uh, but we've got him uh, coming uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night. So very very pleased to let uh, the voters see us uh, side by side at Davenport University. Why do you think he didn't come to the other ones, and why is he coming now? Is the race tightening? Is it heating up? Well, the race is definitely tightening and heating up. There's no question. Uh, we feel an, a, a lot of energy and enthusiasm on our side. In fact, we just had a. Uh, we just had an um, uh, announcement, uh, well, later this morning, where, where 50 more Republican Party leaders uh, are endorsing my campaign. We had an announcement uh, three or four weeks ago where 50 Republican Party leaders did the same. So now we're over 100. Uh, we, we just, everywhere we go, we, we can tell that uh, people are tired of the extreme partisanship. They're not looking at the party uh, labels this year. They're really just focusing on who's the problem solver, who's going to be practical, and who's going to be effective in Congress rather than standing on uh, their own ideology. And, and uh, I'm, I'm going to work to get things done. That's what I've done as a business lawyer. It's about service. It's, it's not about me. The politicians think it's all about uh, them these days. They think it's about their careers, who's in power, mm -hmm. their personal ideology. It's not. It's about the people and the nation. I'm a little curious because Time Magazine listed your opponent, Justin Amash, as one of the rising stars of politics is the way they described it. And uh, I'm wondering why. What 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 are his qualifications even to go to the uh, United States House of Representatives? Well, it's up to the voters always to assess qualifications. Uh, we know that uh, he's uh, been out of uh, school for about five years. He's been a, a, a first-term state rep. He's worked for his family business. Uh, he worked for a, a short time uh, as an attorney uh, for about a year. But uh, I think... You know, they, they look at somebody who's who's young and, 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 and fresh, uh, in their view, who's uh, he's on Facebook, uh, interacting with people who, frankly, think like him on Facebook. And he's got very extreme views. He's, he's very uh, ideological. And I think that's, always, that's, that's the message uh, the media likes to focus on this year, the Tea Party uh, movement, uh, the people who are bringing a very extreme view uh, in terms of the role of government to... Uh, and I think that's why he's being highlighted like that. Uh, and so, and that's fine. Uh, you know, the, the national media and the pundits, uh, they're not always in, in step with uh, what's going on in, on Main Street mm -hmm. and uh, in, in the, uh, the neighborhoods and, uh, and the farms and, and the factories 
Uh, and uh, that's what we're doing. We're out talking to people every day. I've talked to a lot of business leaders who are obviously, you know, they're very impressed with you. They say you have a great reputation in Grand Rapids. A uh, very solid guy is what they're saying. And I think it would be interesting, wouldn't it, if in West Michigan you took off the labels, Republican and Democrat, and just ran two people next to each other based on their views and uh, their credibility. And, uh, you know, you got to wonder, in West Michigan, will people pull the lever for Pat Miles be- with a D next to his name? I think they will. I think this is a very, this is a much more centrist district than people believe. Uh, we know that uh, two years ago, uh, Barack Obama tied this congressional district, and frankly, Carl Levin carried this congressional district. Uh, you know, they say, well, a Democrat can't win the third congressional district. Well, a Democrat does win the third congressional district, Carl Levin. Mm. Uh, and frankly, the reason uh, uh, the incumbent Congressman Vern Ehlers ran up big numbers uh, was not because of all the Republicans. It was because he was also getting a lot of Democratic voters and a lot of moderate Republicans and independents. And so I, I, I agree with you. It'd be nice if, you know, people, which I think is going to happen, they're not going to look at party labels much this year. But for the most part, uh, this district does have a lot of people who split their tickets, who look at the individual candidate, not the party label. Uh, I've not run a partisan campaign at all. None of my advertising or none of my... Uh, speeches have been attacking the Republican Party or or blaming uh, Republican Party leaders or trying to tie my opponent to the Republican Party uh, people. Uh, that's exactly what he's doing to trying to do to me. He's trying to you know running a very partisan race, uh, and that's what people are sick of. And frankly, that's why I'm running because uh, I, I think this now is not the time for extreme partisanship. Now is the time to put the party uh, behind the nation put the people first and solve the problems. Uh, the Republicans that have been endorsing me, I'm proud of them, and they're doing what I'm going to do in Congress. Uh, they're putting the, the nation ahead of party affiliation. Pat Miles for Congress.com is where you can learn more about him. Let's talk uh, the morning after your debate and find out how it went, okay? Oh, I'd love to do that. Sounds good. Appreciate it very much. So that'll be uh, Thursday morning, I guess. So we'll sort that out with your scheduler. And we're two weeks till the general election, so good luck, and we'll talk to you Thursday. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Pat Miles for Congress in West Michigan in the so-called Gerald Ford.